Welcome back guys to yet another video on my uh, channel. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to install Armitage on top of the Metasploit that we installed before. Um, if you guys are following the video that's good because I'm going to start right from there. Uh, if not, I highly recommend uh, you to go back and watch my previous video on how to install Metasploit. Alright, um, before starting, just a small notice. I remember telling you guys to create alias on my previous video. Well. I uh, forgot to mention it's not really persistent, meaning uh, if you close the terminal and then try to access that alias, then it won't work. Uh, shouldn't really matter because uh, uh, we are going to have to add it to a pad, so in this video I'm going to show you guys how to fix all that. So yeah, um, let's get started. So if you guys know about the uh, Armitage, then it is built on Java, so you need to download JDK or JRE Java Runtime Environment. So first thing you need to do is make sure that you have uh, Java installed on your computer. So in order to know if you have uh, Java installed on your computer, just open up your terminal window and just type Java simply and then if it is installed, it will show you guys with a um, bunch of help options. Right, if you haven't installed Java, you need to download uh, JRE. Just open up your Google search and then type download JRE for Mac. And um, yeah, the first link from Oracle, um, that's the one you need to download. Um, just download the one that says Mac OS and then depending on which one do you want. So I I'll usually go with DMZ because that's pretty much executable without having to uh, extract the files and all. So just click on that, um, yeah, and then accept the license terms agreement down here. Alright, so uh, it will download, uh, the installation process is going to be the same, just double click, um, hit next, it will download some of the components and uh, he'll be ready to go. Now, the next thing that we need to download is our Armitage uh, for Mac. So, just open up your Google again, just type Armitage for Mac and it says um, download Armitage CyberTech um, Management for Metasploit. It's a uh, fast and easy hacking.com slash download. So click on one of those things um, and uh, you'll see a list of packages. Um, again, um, we need to download the one that's for .dmz. So don't click on Mac OS X, click on dot one that says .dmz and it will start downloading. Uh, it's not a big file, it's just for AMB so it'll download real quick. Alright, so once you're done with the download, just close your web browser and then open up your finder window go to download and you can see there's our Armitage downloaded. Um, just double click the package, uh, it's not really executable um, so you need to copy the Armitage to your application folder. So you can simply click on the icon of the Armitage, drag it all the way across the application folder. So we have successfully added um, Armitage to our application. Now we need to make sure that it is usable. So go to your application list and then open Armitage. It says Armitage in application downloaded from internet. Since I have third party installation enabled, it just asks for confirmation. Uh, if it doesn't allow you to open it up, you need to go to system preferences, um, go to security and privacy, and then uh, click on your lock put your uh, credentials and um, uh, just click the second one that says App Store is a 95 developer so yeah and um, if you ask for confirmation just click on open and it will open Armitage for you alright so we are on our first Armitage screen the host is going to be same uh, it uses a random port uh, since Metasploit has already created a default database um, the username and password is going to be the default MSF and um, the one created by Metasploit. So uh, just hit connect and um, it says uh, Metasploit RPC server is not running. So the remote server, we need to run it and it says could not launch MSF or this MSF RPCD. So um, now we need to fix that thing. So the way we can fix that thing is by adding um, the path to Metasploit. Um, right now what it's saying is if we try to run msrpcd it wouldn't recognize what that is. So 
we need to make sure that this thing can be accessed from outside. So uh, in order to do that, um, right, so you need to open up your terminal, type sudo nano, uh, which is my text editor, and uh, type dot rc. And uh, just provide a credential and you'll see so if you don't have a bash rc file, you won't see anything like mine. I'm since I just downgraded from uh, Z shell to bash shell. So um, if you do have something, just um, you'll see a bunch of text over here. Just don't delete anything. Uh, just go to your last line and then add some text below that. So the text that we're going to add right now is a command uh, to add it to the path. So start up with path. Um, um, we can do export path equals. Um, now we need to find our Metasploit folder. Um, so it's the easy way to do it by just going through um, your opt file, uh, Metasploit framework, and then the bin. So one way of doing it is by um, just dragging and dropping it to your terminal. If you don't want to drag drop, you can just type export capital path equals. Uh, opt metasploit framework bin and then to end this um, command you need to add backslash is that a backslash I don't know but yeah one of those things and then um, the colon dollar sign and path so it will append your path file every time you, uh, it runs the system um, so we can write it out by using control or uh, the file name to write is going to be bassrc um, and hit control x to close the thing. Alright, um, now uh, if we do source bassrc it will update but it's better to uh, exit the terminal and start off again just to make sure that um, Oh, sorry, so um, yeah, you need to be really careful about it because I did the typo there. So it says export, so it was not supposed to be export, it was supposed to be sorry about that pseudo nano bash rc. Um, yeah, so it should have been export, not export. So yeah, and you really need to work on the spelling. Yeah, all right, um, exit the terminal, start it on again, um, start it up again. And oh, let's see, um, MSF. All right, so you can see a list of things you can access. So that is pretty good. So I got those options just by hitting, uh, typing MSF and tab button on a keyboard. Sorry about all the noises the keyboard, the blip noises that keyboard is making. But yeah, so um, we sorted out the first problem, so it should be able to find um, MSF RPC console thingy. So connect, it says, yeah, it's not running. Okay. So if it still doesn't work, so we need to uh, work our way around it. And we need to trick our um, armatage to think that it started the database, but we will be starting it manually. So um, <coughs> remote PC server. Um, right. So in order to do that, we need to edit our file again. So just do sudo nano uh, dot bash rc um all right um, this part is going to be a little bit tricky but it's not it's not that hard um it's pretty much easy all you got to do is just you know understand what i'm doing and just you can basically copy and paste this same command to your um um thing and it'll work but yeah anyway i'm um, just letting you guys know what i'm doing here um not anything dodgy yet so um so what we will do right now is we will create the um alias for Armitage, um, alias Armitage equals, okay, so since I'm creating alias inside the bash rc file, uh, it will run every time I open the terminal, so it shouldn't really matter um, the persistency, because it's already persistent because it runs every time I open the terminal, so yeah, so all you gotta do is type alias Armitage equals First thing we need to do is um, we will open up our Armitage file when we run the Armitage on command. So in order to do that, go to your finder, go to your application, and then the find the Armitage. 
just right click on that application, click on show package contents, uh, click on content, uh, Java, and drag and drop this file. So we need to do a little bit more to open the Armatize than that. Um, uh, don't forget your comma over here because you won't work without the comma. So it will be Java space minus jar and then the application. So one command is done. So this will launch your Armatize every time you type Armatize on your command line or terminal. Uh, next thing we need to do is start our remote PC server. Um, so we can end this, uh, append this um, command simply by adding this thingy, um, the comma. Um, sorry, I don't know what's that. So by this character, and then we will now add our details. So first thing we need to do, we need to add, uh, start up our MSF RPCD. So it's going to be MSF RPCD. Then we're going to provide our username for Metasploit. Um, uh, Armitage, so if you open up your Armitage right now, uh, you can see all the details are here. So that is what I'm entering right now. So that's minus U. Um, your username is going to be this one, MSF. So minus U space MSF uh, space minus capital P. Uh, the password is going to be test by default. If you haven't changed it, um, then it's going to be minus F, minus S, and uh, minus A. The local host is going to be, um, never mind, 127.0.0.1. Yeah, so uh, we're done with that command, so all we need to do is write it out. Uh, to do that, just do Control O on your keyboard, uh, file name to write bash RC, just hit return key and Control X to exit. Now let's exit this thing, start it off again, close the Armitage, and if we run Armitage right now, um, you can see so it'll take some time to run the Armitage, yeah. Um, just do connect. And yeah, so now it's a different error. So now that has been fixed because it starts the Armitage for us manually, um, it says, I cannot find a database.yml file. I really need it. And here's how to fix it. So um, next thing we need to do, we need to point our um, database in the Metasploit server to Armitage. Uh, in order to do that, we need to add path to our database again. So that's a different thing, and I swear uh, this is going to be the last error that we're going to get. Because uh, just because I wanted you guys to know how I'm fixing it, I didn't remove all the error at the beginning. Um, so in order to fix that error, uh, what you need to do is first change to your root directory, that's uh, tilt, cd tilt, and then change drive to dot msf4, uh, that's your default Metasploit folder and if you do ls here, uh, you can see the file name database.yml, that's the file that we're going to point to alright, so let's go back to our um, home directory and do sudo nano dot bash rc um, provide your credentials we need to add one more export path. So this time what we are going to do is, um, so remember how it gives us a clue, what we need to do here in Armitage? It says, try setting MSF database config. So that is the word that we are going to use. Um, MSF underscore database underscore config equals, um, again, the easy way to do it is by just dragging and dropping, so we are going to go to go.msf4 um, sorry, so our directory slash msf4, and you can see the database.yml file, just drag and drop this file, just make sure there's no two backslashes, and um, there you go so we have exported this to that one. Do is write out Control O 
enter, control X, and clear. All right, so let's try to do this thing again. Um, let's quit our armatage, um, exit this thing, um, run the armatage, connect. So um, I wasn't expecting this, but it is still giving me errors. So I reckon this one should fix it. So um, using sudo minus e while we're running armatage. So in order to do that, let's edit our bash rc file again sudo nano dot bash rc um, and just add sudo minus e and uh, write it out okay close it clear um, let me try to run armatize again from here uh, since we have uh, done that using oh sorry uh, since we are setting everything up in terminal, it's better to run it using terminal every time because um, then we can do sudo minus c. We don't have to drag and drop everything. All right, there you go. Um, so you basically can um, see now it's working properly. Um, so this is how you install Armitage on top of Metasploit. Um, so uh, you guys don't need to worry about all the commands because I will be putting everything down in the description section below. So just feel free to copy and paste and um, um, you need to replace some of the things like because um, it's my username so you guys need to change it to yours. And there are a couple of details that you need to change um, which I will um, link on the description section below. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. So um, if you guys run into any kind of errors just feel free to comment. Um, then I'll try to help you guys solve that problem. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. See you guys in another video. Thank you.